Today, my friends, we are going to be cleaning it all. Three days of whole house cleaning. I even got a new cleaning tool I'll be sharing with you and just sharing some real life messes when life gets crazy, not to mention a cash giveaway. So let's get ready and let's do this together. Hey friends, thank you for being here. And before we get started with lots of cleaning, I just wanna take a moment and thank you for being here. You could be doing literally anything else in the world right now, and you are choosing to be here with me, and that does not go unnoticed. So thank you for being here. Today I'm bringing you along for three days of whole house cleaning. I'm gonna be cleaning all of the rooms in my house and also giving away $100 in PayPal cash. So I will have all of the details for that here in a little bit. I'm also gonna be sharing a little bit about what's going on this week and just some real life craziness. hope things are going well for you guys right now. I hope things aren't too crazy. We are just enjoying the last few weeks of summer before the girls start school. I can't believe we're almost to that point. Avery starts August 19th and then the twins actually don't start until August 29th. So we still have a few weeks left of summer. And when we start getting ready for back to school, which we're actually starting here right now, I will have a couple of videos out on back to school, kind of like a routine, what we try to do to stay on top of our game. I, this was here in the morning and I was trying to get everything picked up, or a few things picked up in the morning. Addison had a little bit of a bloody nose. So I was pre-treating it with my DIY stain remover do some Dawn dish soap or Dawn power wash on the stain, sprinkle some baking soda, and then I pour some hydrogen peroxide on top of the baking soda, scrub it in, let it sit. I've let it sit for 15 minutes before I've let it sit overnight. It does not discolor your clothes, um, but it's just my DIY stain remover that I love. Never been. Look at this mess. I'll explain why we had a shop vac in our kitchen and why everything that go typically goes under the sink is out on the floor. I'll explain that here in a little bit, but at this point it was now closer to the evening and I desperately needed to get this kitchen and living room picked up. I was gonna have the girls help me. And I think, you know, when you watch, when you guys are watching this video, it's a perfect example of you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. You know, you could be watching any of my videos every single week. You could watch my videos and it just looks 
like wow look at her get it done look look at her clean it up life looks so easy breezy but in fact when i'm filming this what you are watching right this second i was so overwhelmed on the verge of tears and honestly i think right before i started filming i was crying just having a little meltdown nothing serious but just feeling very very overwhelmed and i think that i had started out the week and we just had so much stuff going on and it's just the perfect example of that life is not always easy breezy easy going i don't always get everything done i get overwhelmed i get frustrated with life and it's just something that you always don't get to pick up on when you're watching a sped up cleaning video but i promise you there are days and weeks like this and i just think it's important to share that I know this clip is super sped up, but it took me almost, I think it was over 20 minutes uh, in normal time to clean all of these dishes. I had to speed it up like crazy or it would have gotten really boring watching me clean all of these dishes. Our kitchen sink is not working. Our dishwasher is not working. It is my fault. I put some old food down there that had a lot of fat in it and the sink stopped working. The dishwasher stopped working and it was a mess and in the midst of this mike was trying to fix it my, my father-in-law who's a handyman was trying to fix it he has a lot of tools that mike didn't have so still not working with our dishwasher at least i've read and i've been told that running the dishwasher actually saves on water it's um it uses less water than if you were washing a bunch of dishes by hand so we we're holding out for this but it didn't happen at this point i just needed to get the dishes done So this is the only thing that I actually bought on Prime Day, nothing else, but actually I didn't get it from Amazon. Walmart was doing, they had a lot of deals and rollbacks. So I got it from Walmart. It's a little hand vacuum. I wanted it for this specific reason. As we were getting down to where we had no silverware, I noticed all of the crumbs in the silverware drawer. So I was like, that's really gross. I need to vacuum it up. And then, you know, every time the girls eat, there's always so many crumbs. And I'm like, I just wish I had this tiny little vacuum to use. It's a pretty good price, $26. It might still be on a rollback at Walmart, but I will have it linked in the description.
do you notice anything different down here in the basement? Something that may have been moved from upstairs to down here. Mike decided to move his work area down here. I think he just got bored and just wanted a change of scenery. So a lot of you know that Mike works from home and he's been sharing the upstairs office with me, which has been totally fine because I don't sit in the office very often. So he came to work from home in March of 2020. And at first he was always up in the office. And I would say about a year ago, he got so used to not having two computer screens. So for him, he's a financial analyst. He utilizes two computer screens a lot for his job. But I think being at home, and getting tired of sitting at a desk, he was figured out how to do his job with one screen. And I think he just got bored of sitting in the office. So that's when about a year ago, he started just moving all over the house with his laptop. Like he would sit in the living room if the girls were napping, he'd go in the basement. He just kind of switch it up. And I know, and I think at this point, I think he just was like, you know what? I'm ready to switch it up again. I want to start working with two screens again. And he decided to set, set up a little workstation in the basement. I know I'm going to get comments about his card table. Obviously, he could totally purchase a desk and a nice chair, but he doesn't want to because it's still temporary. He is going to be going into the office this fall as more of a hybrid schedule. And I know when you see the desk, you're thinking, oh, he's probably sitting there all day and he's really not. So if he doesn't have to utilize two screens, he usually sits on the couch with his laptop. So he's really not sitting at the desk too often. And I mentioned to him like, well, why don't you just buy a desk and we'll put a little space down here in the basement. And he's like, I just, I feel like it's a waste to buy a nice desk and a nice chair when it's something that I wouldn't use a ton. So right now he's still rocking that card table but I guess it works for him. I'm always doing the eye test when I'm done wiping down the countertops. So you would be surprised at the amount of crumbs or spots you miss if you don't do the eye test. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't think that you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. So yes, it has been a crazy week. It was just one of those weeks, everything that could go wrong 
went wrong. You know what I mean? We had a lot of random appointments, dentist appointments. I had a hair appointment. Avery had softball tryouts. Mike's the coach, so he was busy doing stuff for the tryouts as well. The twins had something for their new preschool, and then we were dealing with no kitchen sink and not being able to run the dishwasher. It was just, and not even like, I understand having a dishwasher is a luxury, but we didn't have a kitchen sink, so it's not like we could keep up on the dishes because it's a pain to wash dishes in your bathroom sink. So I just felt like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Things were out of control for me. And when I start feeling like this, one of my ways that always makes me feel better and I think it's because right now I felt like my life was out of control. Things just kept going wrong. And a way to gain control back for me was to get my house cleaned up because that's something I can control. I always feel better when my house is clean and picked up. So I started this video in a horrible mood. Like I told you, I had a meltdown. I cried. But as the night went on, I started to feel so much better getting my house all cleaned up. So one of the last things I was doing for the evening was Avery and I were going to tackle her room together. Crazy talking about going back to school. It'll make me a little bit sad. Like I know Avery loves school, but it's also nice to have her home. And I think her being older, I'm sure a lot of you moms who have older kids or younger kids, Avery is such a big help with the twins, with housework, help. She's my little buddy. I felt like the summer just went by so fast. So this was a couple days later, the kitchen sink, kitchen sink still did not work. We're waiting on a plumber to come. This was during nap time and I was trying to finish my cleaning upstairs. I had just laid the twins down and typically I can clean in the laundry room as soon as they go down because they're, the laundry room and their room share a wall. But they always talk quite a bit before they actually settle down and fall asleep wiping everything down and I store my dirty cleaning microfiber cloths, cleaning cloths in the laundry sink, then I'll wash them all. So when I clean the sink, I make sure I clean it down with a cleaner and then I spray my jaws disinfectant. And then I saw a few spots that were a little discolored on the grout. So I was using my Resolve foaming carpet cleaner. I sprayed on there, I let it sit for a few minutes. We have sanded grout, so I'm careful of not scrubbing too hard. And the Resolve carpet cleaner does a good job of cleaning and allowing me to not have to scrub, which is important for the type of grout that we have. So I gotta clean this bathroom, but I am dreading it. This is, I don't know what it is about this bathroom. Like I don't mind the girls bathroom so much, 
but I hate cleaning our bathroom and it's probably because Mike and I have so many products and toiletries here and then you know I hate the shower so assuming that's why I really don't want to do this I'm dreading it but it's got to be done so if you have a room in your house that you don't want to clean that needs to be clean go do it right now put me on your phone put me on your tablet but we will feel better when it's done I promise <laughs> Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the details for the giveaway now. I just want to throw out that when you seeing me clean the shower, I'm using a Scotch Bright scrubbing dish wand and I put half white distilled vinegar and half Dawn dish soap as the cleaner in the dish wand. You'll see this here in a minute. I just wanted to say that out before we get started and I start talking about the giveaway. So giveaway, $100 in PayPal cash. This is open internationally and it will run through Friday, August 5th. It will end at 1159 Eastern Standard Time on Friday, August 5th. I will announce the winner on Saturday, August 6th. So make sure if you are entering, make sure you follow me on Instagram or make sure you put a reminder in your phone to go check the YouTube community tab on that Saturday, August 6th. So if I announce that you won, you don't miss it. This has happened before and I don't want it to happen to you guys if that's the case. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway, keeping it simple, is make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel have the notification bell turned on so you get notified every time I post a new video and then answer this question. That's literally it. So make sure you're subscribed, turn the bell notification on, which is right next to the subscribe button. And then the question for the giveaway is, what's your favorite hobby? Sometimes I like finding questions that make you think, but then sometimes I'm like, I just want to keep it easy so everyone can enter. So let me know what your favorite hobby is. Good luck to everyone. Entering is open internationally. Like I said, I will announce the winner on Saturday, August 6th on my Instagram and YouTube community tab. The winning comment I will pin at the top of the comment section in this video and I will reply to that. So that's how it will be done. Thank you again for being amazing. Thank you for being here. And I will not be able to respond to all of your comments. I just get so many more. So just thank you for commenting if you do. It does not go unnoticed. I appreciate it. I will be reading them, but I unfortunately won't be able to respond to them all. So using this dish wand with vinegar and dawn i used to do this and i gotten away for it from it and then i decided to try it again i just ultimately like to switch up how i clean my shower just to make it a little bit more exciting for me but those of you who do this my only downfall to this is then what do you do with the dish wand head do you like how do you clean that because to me i feel like it gets kind of gross now, when I clean the dish one, dish one heads for my dishes, I put it in the dishwasher. Do you do that? Um, I'm just trying to think because it does, I, I feel like the dish one kind of gets a little bit more beat up when I use it in the shower than it would for dishes. So I just feel like I'm going to go through a lot of these dish ones if I continue to do this. So if you do this, how do you wash it? How often do you replace the dish one heads? Let me know.
Did you get your room clean too? <sighs> Feels good. High five. I am totally pumped to clean these floors because they are filthy. And I know you guys can't see, the camera just never does a good job of showing everything, but I can just feel. Like, you know when you can feel when your floors are dirty? I mean, there's so much stuff all over the floor. And then not to mention <laughs> with Mike and my father-in-law trying to fix the sink the past couple of days, it's a mess. And I am ready to get this clean. Ugh, nothing better than a clean floor. curious when you guys are watching you know my cleaning videos or other cleaning videos how fast do you like when I speed it up so do you like it a little bit slower I know some people when they edit they're they speed it up super super fast like it's crazy and then other people go a lot slower do you guys like a mix do you like slower cleaning clips or super fast what do you find more motivating or more satisfying It was weird because this same week Mike had went into the office I think two days and in the afternoon when the twins were napping it was insane how quiet the house felt which is not like he's loud when he's working and he's always he's either upstairs or in the past he's been upstairs in the office or he's been hanging out a lot in the basement so it's not like we see each other a lot during the day you know he'll come up for lunch and breakfast and hang with the girls and things like that and he also helps out when he can but it's just crazy to me how his presence I can feel when he's in the house and then when he's gone and it's just a weird feeling because he came home in March of 2020 to work from home and has never left and he's always been here so it was it's just weird how you can feel when someone is not in the house So this room is a little bit different than last time we saw it, isn't it? <laughs> Mike is out of here. He's gone. So it's crazy to me because this is how the room was supposed to look. So it's just crazy to me because I'm used to having something right there. Now, I don't know what my original thought was when it was not to have all of this here. I think the idea was this was gonna go over there, but I'm not gonna do that today. Too much stuff I need to do, but the rooms just seem so much bigger. So it's just nice to have a little bit more room in here. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna move this over there maybe. Oh, 
So I totally lied to you guys. Once I got in here and started cleaning up, I was like, no, I wanna move the cube, cube organizer. And I know the chair is way too big for this small, tiny room, but I sit there and edit a lot on my laptop. So even though it's kind of too big for the space, it's practical for me. And I have no idea how I'm gonna rearrange all of this in the new house. We'll see, not gonna worry about that right now, but it's nice to have a little bit more room in this space because we did this, I think in January and February of 2020, right before Mike came home to work from home. And so really he came home, set up his work stuff in here. So it was really never a space for, like an office space for me because he, he's been here. So I finally have a little bit more space to keep all of my stuff. Well, I said I was not going to rearrange, but I got in here and I was like, I just want to do it. I think that this room just isn't ideal for all of this furniture, which is okay <laughs> because we won't be here much longer. <laughs> So here I was just finishing things up, cleaning the girls' bathroom, and I'm using hydrogen peroxide wipes to wipe down their toothbrush area. I got, got those from Target. And then I'm using my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol, one part water, and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap to wipe down the vanity in the mirrors. But if you guys see, I'm wearing my Ohio State tank top i am so ready for college football i love college football i'm not a big nfl professional football fan my husband is he's actually a fan of pretty much any sport but for me i love college football i love our ohio state buckeyes and i am so pumped for college football season to start so i pulled it out because I, we're getting there we're almost there college football starts in august typically Starts in August, so we are almost there. I'm excited. So because it was such a crazy week, it was one of those weeks where Mike and I, or number one, I'm so grateful to have a partner in my life because I probably would have completely melted down if I was handling all of this by myself, but we were both doing the bare minimum to get by every single day this week just because of the crazy week we had and the laundry was piling up. I was like, okay, 
you have a little bit of time. It's not really what I wanted to do after my long week, but I just wanted to get the laundry done. So you're gonna see me fold, I think it was maybe four or five loads. I had to end up folding and then putting away. But you know when you have laundry specifically, I mean, that's the task, the cleaning task that is never ending when it's just piling up you almost feel overwhelmed and then it's just sitting there on your list and you know you have to take care of it you have to fold it so I was just in those I was in one of those moods where I'm like all right I'm just ready to get it done like I don't want to do it but I'm ready to get it done so it's not hanging over my head Oh, it feels so good. I am ending this video in a much better mood, in a much better place than when I started this video. You guys, it was rough. Super, super rough. But a clean house always, always makes me feel better. Our sink is not clean. We still don't have a working sink. But I feel like I gained a little bit of control back by cleaning the house. And even though right now, the living room and the kitchen are not clean because I did that a couple of days ago. At least it was clean at some point this week, right? Um, the girls and I will have time. We'll have time tonight. We don't really have too crazy of an evening other than the plumber coming. So I'll be able to hopefully uh, get everything cleaned up. You know, sometimes you just feel like you need like a house reset. When things go crazy, when you're busy, you go a couple days without cleaning just to give it a little reset. Now, obviously the house doesn't stay clean. You know, you clean one day, if you have kids likely, or other people living in your house, those first rooms that you cleaned get messy again. Um, but it just feels good to get it clean at least once and then just kind of do like a reset each and every week. So I am definitely in a much better spot today oh, feels good so i hope you guys are too thank you for making time to watch my video i am so grateful and good luck to everyone entering the giveaway don't forget to make sure you're subscribed turn the notification bell on and answer the question you guys are amazing you make each and every day for me better so thank you so much for being here